Good morning, everyone. I'm Jaehyung Jung from Korea. The topic of my presentation is surgical importance of making a proper pocket in Asian lymphoplasty. I will talk about the details of releasing the transverse mesalis aponeurotic fibers. It's called as uh, TNF from now on. Asian lymphoplasty differs in anatomic features comparing to the Caucasians. Asian nose are short and uh, small in many cases. Therefore, augmentation lymphoplasty is uh, more common than the reductions. It is uh, necessary to use implant to augment the dorsum in primary Asian lymphoplasty. These are the materials that are used for uh, dorsal bone graft. In Asian, especially in Korea, uh, silicon and Gore-Tex are the most commonly used implant. Improper position of the implant can cause deviation, unnatural appearance, and demarcation, envelope thinning, and so on. So these are the three conditions to stabilize in setting of the implant. Uh, implant size and shape, carving and sculpturing, making a proper pocket, that is very important. L-shaped or heavy tip-shaped implant can give a physical stimulus to the distal tip. Nowadays, L-shaped implants are out of the trend in Korea. I usually use high soft silicone implant. I always carve the implant for appropriate shape. The implant shape has to be tapered, which, uh, which means uh, it has to be thinned in thickness. I call this a tapered tail shaped implant. A uh, new concept for dorsal implant use, usage uh, that means uh, implant dorsal owning method and envelope redrapping, uh, stable sh shape placement implant, and the uh, last, uh, stable implant insetting. These are questions uh, while we face during the operations. First, uh, what is the pocket proper pocket making. Second, uh, the size of the pocket with the implant. Uh, do you have any experience? And third, uh, width of uh, uh, dissection area. And the last, uh, maximal nasal skin expansion in secondary short nodes. Uh, new pocket creation. Uh, sometimes too narrow or sometimes too wide. For the new pocket creation, I prefer to make the space in the proximal portion, the root area, appropriately dissected to fit the implant in setting, and the distal portion to be widely dissected in order not to disturb the implant by the uh, internal structures. So the new, new pocket uh, creation is related to the transverse nasal aponeurotic fibers, the TNF. I will talk about more detailed things. Uh, I'll show you the video. This is a Kareba video, uh, uh, my study. And, uh, and you do the uh, elevate uh, these are flat. You have to keep the uh, dissection plane below the nasal smas. And uh, after uh, find the uh, cartridges dorsal dorsal line and below the uh, nasal smas, we can make a pocket. This is a conventional method uh, using the uh, Joseph elevators.
And you uh, find the uh, internal pocket area. You can see the uh, uh, sling-like uh, structure that's uh, TNF. TNF means uh, transverse nasalis aponeurotic fibers that hold the nasal uh, envelope uh, and uh, densely attach it to the ca uh, cartilage spout. So envelope can, uh, cannot uh, expand because of the nasal, uh, uh, transverse nasal, nasalis aponeurotic fibers uh, uh, strongly attached to the bone. So using the sharp scissors, and you can release that and you can make a more uh, wider pocket making and also you can expand the nasal envelope. That is a very uh, important structure. Just like this. Uh, the transverse nasal is from the lateral incisive fossa and maxilla. Some fibers come from the uh, libitolabi superior alachinase, and it also digitate with the procerus muscles. And the transverse nasalis muscles act as a strong uh, compression band, and its operative fiber transversely cross over the dorsum and form a sling-like structures. And uh, eventually, a transverse nasalis is included in the nasal smas and. Uh, comprise a certain amount of the nasal envelope. Therefore, to insert an implant, the release of the TNF is important for making a proper pocket. I will show you the another videos. This is a oper operation videos, uh, same as same manners as the Caliber study and uh, exposed to the cartridge bolt, and you, you can easily found, find the uh, plan for the dissection. And after finding the appropriate plan and using the Joseph Knight, uh, uh, periosteal di uh, dissector, and you can make a sub periosteal pocketing. And you can feel the, when you, when you do retract the flap, you can feel the, some restraint. But the, uh, releasing the TNF, that means I'll show you the. Uh, uh, endoscopic finding, just like this. This, this, uh, this is a, a transverse nasalis aponeurotic fiber. Uh, using the combat procedure, you can easily uh, divide from the base, just like this. After uh, completion, uh, no, uh, when a, a short nose correction or the secondary short nose, secondary deformity, uh, wide pocket or wide release of the nasal uh, envelope, we can easy uh, to release the transverse nasalis fi uh, upon the fiber. 
after the completion, uh, you can feel the more comfortable uh, when you do the expand the head mirror. Okay. So. <clears throat> Uh, this is the endoscopic finding, as you see. Uh, this is a TNF. And before and releasing the TNF, this is a proximal pocket. This is the distal pocket. And this photo shows uh, uh, above the, uh, uh, before the TNF. And the uh, after releasing the TNF, we can get the extension of the nasal envelope more easily while pulling the flap. So uh, extension was possible without a resistance. After releasing TNF, we can get the extension of nasal envelope uh, and uh, we can get a more gain, uh, average 3.6 millimeter. Uh, when pulling down the envelope, we could feel the decrease of the uh, resistance. Uh, this is my article published in Korea four years ago. In conclusion, uh, there are two surgical important of releasing TNF. First, TNF acts as a retained ligament between the nasal envelope and the cartilage framework. So, releasing the TNF uh, enable to extend the nasal envelope in the short nose or the secondary nose. Uh, second thing is uh, inappropriate uh, releasing TNF lead to interfere the position of the implant. So nasal envelope has to redirect the underlying implant to be stabilized. In this study, we, we focus on the pocket dissection for the implant we think that the implant, uh, we think that the release of the TNF is quite significant in dorsal augmentation. Uh, this is uh, my thesis, but we have no time. So thank you for uh, listening and uh, uh, Next speaker is uh, Dr. Mangunso. <laughs> he's my friend and he's a great surgeon. Uh, uh, he will be a, give a, a great lecture for us. Thank you so much.